Good evening and a very warm welcome to First Issues. The Botswana Investment and Trade Center puts Botswana's import bill at over 70 billion pula annually. When you take into consideration the pressing need for Botswana to diversify its economy away from its dependency on diamonds, as well as create the much needed jobs for its high number of unemployed, the situation as it stands becomes even more disturbing because the very production and consumption of those products could address so many of this country's problems. Tonight we speak to everyday people who are actually doing something about the status quo. Taking the simple step of commercializing the foods that Botswana have eaten for decades, but even 50 years after independence are still not typically found on local supermarket shelves. These small novice producers are using the competitive advantage of having an understanding of local foods that no foreign company is likely to have. Our first guest is 58-year-old mother of four, Ratanang Mutlabani, who worked as a librarian for 26 years. She tells us what motivated her to take early retirement and venture into the manufacturing of Dobi a few years ago. We want her to be different. It, it was actually a number of factors. In our travels, we were going to go to Even in big shops, we were going to go to the We can also make a difference. It's very nutritious. That's why we should prioritize Kadubi. 31 year old mother of one, Lebohang Mono was a professional interior designer when she also thought to start mass producing the khemere that friends and family were constantly asking her to make at functions. I was taught how to make khemere by my mom, as most ladies of all time. And I was just good at it. A few friends convinced me to start selling it and I just looked for ways to make it different and we did. Apart from the fact that it tastes better, <laughs> um, it's actually the. I think it's very authentic. We don't try to produce it um, in, in kind of you know the way people put preservatives in just to make sure they extend the shelf life and all that. Um, we try to keep it as authentic as possible. There are no preservatives in it, and the major draw card is the packaging. Um, we do package and glass, as you know, for our 250 ml and our two liter. So that actually just sets us apart already. Um, and then the preservatives factor is just a bonus. Mwahisi Zulu and his wife, Mirapelo Hukatwing, parents of two, have also left their former careers in human resources and early childhood development, respectively, to manufacture Khoduya Lerote and Musukujane iced tea under their native foods brand. He shares how they also came to this point. How to na mole ben killing? Go ta itela. Go na li di jota si China. Go na li di jota si India. Go na li di jo sa mera heka go harloha. O kana go tena mushu pungu gori ke bata Mexican. Eba go na yala Mexican. Mi a go na go pe mole ben killing lepe ko elong for how to na tengo go na go rui tele di jota si swan. Mere le mole hatsen la botswa. Rabere na hatsi. Rerenya 
re bere nna ha tshe re bona gore nyane mo botlhoko gore re simolle dijo tse le ngo gore re ka ditsenya mo marakeng le baka la bobedi ene e le gona gore re le mohile gore ha re chaisa e ene e tere re chaisa a bata go apa dijo tsa swana mo lapeng e be le gore ha e le gore o tshomna ke gore a ile le rotse go tsa di o ura di sekana ka sepego le bata me re ha sena go le bata e be go tsa di o ura di sekana ka sepego le thabela me re ha sena o le thabela be go tsa di o ura tse dingwe go bata madila go ta gona tetsa mo go poro wa pele me re be re nna re simolla ya no re nna re itirela go dua le rotse ruri gore ha re tare la pele me re bata go ja bogobe ja le rotse re dire ka bo hetswana ke gone mo be re e e me go ka re batho ba le bantsi ba tshwana le rona we have a big and growing middle class which is too busy and they cannot afford the hassle that you incur how about the hoa pa jo tsa swana ke gona e be re hela re dira go dua le rotse e leng gore e ta e package di tsweru re tsenya di tsedi o tsweru re moteng wena sa go ke go etshela eh o ta bona le bogobe ja le rotse me mo tsunye se kae mo suku ja no one re be re le mo ga gore drink ye it's a hidden african tea miracle mele te ya swana e leng gore we ought to share to the world in terms of nutritional benefits is too superior ha ya swantsang wa le drink tse dingwe tse dingwe maraki ba ha o tsa ele se kai ba university of zimbabwe mo ga o tshwane ba ire le dipatisiso me ba le mo ga gore drink ya kana te ye ya mosuku jane e na le go mo go teng di antioxidants mo go thusa mmele eh di mena gane gane ha go tshwang tshang wa le ditetso ka tswang di le temo marakeng kana tse di tsiweng ho mpeo What is the future of help? It's to help people find the great in themselves. The drive. The passion. Help them find their true potential. Help them stretch. Help them grow. That's why we help people help themselves, help the world. Because a little help goes a long, long way. FNB, how can we help you? Welcome back to the program. Having an idea is one thing, but what does it truly take to get a food and beverage product onto the shelf of a retail store? What can we learn from the experiences of our guests who had no prior manufacturing experience? It took two years. It took, the, th the thing is also because in initially I was juggling both work and this. Um, there's only so much so far you can get when you do that. Um, but it takes a lot of time if you want to deliver a quality product to like on a shelf and um, rather than developing it while you are already in on the shelves um, so I wanted to go to take my time and make sure that when I go into stores it's proper like it has a barcode it's I've tested it I've done I have followed necessary steps um, although it's been difficult because sometimes it, something as small as getting a license, a manufacturing license can take the longest time. Even going from home, I went from being home-based to being now in a manufacturing space among other companies that are like doing amazing things. So um, just the way you produce changes, you need to be more... Um, you need to have more control in terms of your quality. Your processes have to be very deliberate. Um, hygiene is extremely important. So although I already was taking those necessary steps at home, here when you get to this stage, you have to be even more careful because you don't want someone falling sick um, from buying something off the shelf. And I have to make sure that I also watch um, how my products move on in store because of the shelf life and all that. So you have to think about a lot of things. You have to be very careful and deliberate with your decision making. Packaging material in Gaum in Gaubonagai, Bam Supers a little step over the Hori, Bacan Tutayan, Bacan Tusayan for a Kibiki, Kisuel Mokobunyan. 
me can niti but one up take banaban banaban tusa kawarikinaga and up again I lay technical reports. Guess not like a bolella horki batahuira in lee in lee in lee banaban tirela a technical report in horki on lee in hori in a year to horki simule processing and packaging yami gilly mohione dubi in spirits of horki sons or a key a page young concerns or keep package keep package young and Mobanza through training, Bandrina Yan Hori, Kisunzori, Business Yam, Kawayam is a major. It was a good report, Karine is super low on my dear Yat Hogan, Gizzi Rusia Sotisiki Toka, Kosumula Kawayan. Kile to Lili Lili, Mera Pele Bukitinian, Sesimole Mokor Nale Maiso, Radarnal Kitsu Tiri Harlo Hanning, Personality Tiri Harlo Hanning, we encourage each other during the journey. Me hari simola kweboye hore la hore kana re ne re sa itse re sena dithuto tsa food technology me eh ke ne ka tshwanwa ke go a go ithuta go go ba naftech eh ba mpha botsi pa halele hale eh ba re ruta go ira dijo tse dingwe tse leng gore ta sa ntse re di dira ja ka kend se swa se swa se se mo kheneng le mokoto ja ka re le batho ba re tswang go ga mangwato Make it a long horridge, how he lowered the re, many routine shayalo, give one ever enough take. Me resimulate the re real amola be. Re real amola being elegant a canya or a cana car, Richard and Ale Mohopolo, has or how an Ale Mohopolo, or Mohopolo, Opacity, Bareki, Baji Bareki, Bawatil, or some like Oro, Tatova, Gum Maraking, Obonekawa, Maru, or a ba or reka. Ibile ba ora kaka thwa thwa e bo ba tanye ka go direla ndipoelo nya ka bo amaru re ne ra dira ya lo mo go bitswa prototyping me ra thopha le benke le lengwe hela le benke le le ke itumela gore go tsena go yo go ta go tsena go mpiko ne ba re bele ge ba ra amogetse ka matsogo a mabedi the square mart the food lovers market ke gone go e rileng ka December 2016 e be re ya go lekeletsa product ya rona ya ntha go bua le rotse me ra ha khama yua thata ke ka mogelo ye neng ba tswana ba ra amogetse ka yone eh mo go neng go ha khama tsa le bona ba mabenke le gore ao hore ana mo anteng kwa no gona di o tse di tswana le tse mebile di di o tsa tswana tse leng gore di ka khona gore di tsa mae ka selekanyo se neng tsa ma ka sona eh ke gona ra bo re le go mo ra gore tisa mosuku jane eh re le mo ga gore batho ba rata botsogo batho ba rata go ithokomela me be re re ka gore mo eh go gaisa mo go teng ke re sa ba he botsogo jo bo go godimo re ba he ga pele ngwao ya bone re ba he le eh le serodu mo sa bona ile batswana ke gone be re tsenya mosuku jane me lone ra o tsenya ka thulaganyo ye neng re tsenya go dua le rotsa ka ona ya go lekeletsa pele re se rana mele ha se ka bo phara re lekeletsa re bona gore a batho ba atla mogopolo wa rona nya me batho ba o atla lone ke gone ya anong ho ra bo re le moga gore e e re tshwanna ke go thatosa dinao re be ra go ipankanya re nna ha se re bona gore go ka re lopa bo ka he go ka re thoka eng e go ka re thoka dikitso di he tse di ka tswana re sana na tso go ta go go e dira ka selekanyo se re dira ka sona go mpieko ke gona ya anong ho re neng ra hella re bo le thuso mo go ba ba sida ba re itumelang eh thuso ya bone go ka re thusa ka gona go re rekela machine ro ro dirisang eh go re duela ba bereki go re thato sa hela go ta go tsena ha ha re lenteng go mpiko re mo se mo se le gore go mpiko ra ana misa eh di product tse le le hatse ka bo phara me go re tsere se ba ka se se ntsi to make a recipe eh gona le nako e neng ke nna hela ke eno a yone tee e le go leka gona go thaloganya sephiri sa tatso gore mme go mo go kanna eh ga o twale ga jang eh ka gore mosuku jana o le no sihela eh ga ona tatso e ka o ka monana me ne re bata gore tse tatso e ga pere sa lathegetswe ke di re sa lathagelwe ke di kota tse di mo gona e be re ithella gona ha re lenteng ha re ka tswa re o thateile gongwe eh go heta ga 100 me re ntse re tsholla re bona gore mo ga go bereke go dule one hela ya lo eh gore e kgone go nna le baka le 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 e sa bole go tsa ya boitsana pe bongwe jo bo rile le dipatisiso tse di rile so ne re tshwana ke gore re dire jalo me gape di jo mmae tsho di alaolwa ka ha molao gore go batega gore di be di kwadilwe go tweng ha di rekisiwa go me barakeng me go kwalwa ya lo go thoka gore motho a ba ile go laboratory 
mo go baitsana pe ba ya go thatho ba tsone tsotso dilo tse dithokang go kwalwa e be le ka gona gore le ditseni me ano go thoka madi eh re na le le boile ngwe hela hela mono e bonyone na aftek dio tse sa khone go di dira gore a gore o tshona ke gore o di dira kwa Africa bor feeling inspired this is what our enterprising group of guests would like for you to know before following in their footsteps. People say it's not easy being an entrepreneur. And I think we underestimate um, when people say that. Jorge, how exactly do you mean it's not easy? It's extremely hard. Um, you have to believe in your project. You have to be very resilient. You have to be able to there are times when you walk into an office and you're very confident for you're going to get that thing done and someone literally point black shuts you down and you will even cry. <laughs> but I think you need to just be able to pick yourself up and look at the bigger picture and you must have a goal of where you want to see yourself because if you don't, if all you want to do is make money, unfortunately I don't think you'll get very far. Um, and I think as young Botswana, when we start businesses, we need to be, we need to think global. You need to compete with the big players, even if it's in your head, even if you are just Botswana based, think about the fact that what would Coca-Cola do when you are a beverage manufacturing company, you know what I mean? Because then even the way you do certain things, you won't, you won't just take half measure steps. You will actually want to go full throttle. So, yeah. challenge <laughs> o batla gore ba direng mo khwebong ya gago o thokana gape le gone tiruso ya madi mo khwebong gore madi tota ha ona le ona wa dirisa jang ha ngo khela le gore o tabogela gore ka dio tseleng gore ga o di thoke ga o se o di thoke ke yone ke yone khwethwene ka e bona ke ne ka ra ka di dirisho ya tse dingwe tse leng gore tota ne ke siki di thoke kana ko yeo mo le gore dinetsa tsa ya dingwaga di ntsehela ke sa di dirisi di dirisho ya tse o me ke ne ka bana gore go no ga mpisetsa ko morago what is the future of help? It's to help people find the great in themselves. The drive, the passion, help them find their true potential, help them stretch, help them grow. That's why we help people help themselves, help the world, because a little help goes a long, long way. FNB, how can we help you? Welcome back to the program. For years, we have heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But for those of our viewers looking to live healthier and thus more productive lives, this age-old saying is no longer as straightforward. You have the vegan movement telling you to ditch animal products such as milk and eggs completely. You have carbohydrate-hating diets telling you to cut the carbs that are refined sugary cereals and bread in the other corner. And the intermittent dieting craze might have you skipping the meal altogether. But before you give up trying to make sense of all this conflicting information, let's hear what Professor Kieran Bagat has to say about the type of breakfast that will keep debilitating chronic illnesses that we see on the rise away from your household and help keep you a productive member of society for years to come. The healthiest breakfast are those that contain 
good fats and protein. It's a misconception that we should be having cereals. Do not touch sugar in the morning or ever if possible. But these cereals, whether they're oats, bran, cornflakes, muesli, cocoa pops, all the things that children are fed in the morning are toxic because they raise the sugar instantly. The body ru ru rushes out insulin, which drops the sugar so that by the time the child gets to school, they're already hungry. Feed them with healthy fats, double cream yogurt, full fat milk, um, avocados, eggs, um, some, some, some beans, you know, some vegetables, a fruit rather than a fruit juice. So eat healthy, eat protein, eat fat, healthy fats, not processed fats. Unprocess your diet in the morning. No breads, no rice, no pasta, uh, no grains if you like, no cereals, no Weetabix, no oats, no bran. Eat things that are healthy that will sustain you for the morning. If you have full fat milk, for example, or full fat yogurt, it will suppress your appetite for a good couple of hours. So you won't want to snack during the morning. So that really should be your breakfast for the morning. What are these good fats? We are now beginning to understand are the natural fats, the fats that are not processed. If you, for example, what is a processed fat? Perhaps we should start with that. Processed fats are the oils that are, are, are the seeds that are taken to a factory to process the, the, that seed to extract the oil. And the reason why we're saying these oils are not good for you, we're talking about sunflower oil, canola oil, safflower oil, the things that are manufactured in, in a plant, is that the chemical process that is required to extract that soya oil or canola oil or sunflower oil, it's the chemicals that are toxic, that are added to that golden colored sunflower, for example, oil, that you may think is healthy for you, but actually is very toxic to the system. A classic one uh, that we used to uh, uh, advocate is margarine. Margarine or hydrogenated oils, trans fats, these things that, are, that, that bakers used to make biscuits and, and pies. These are highly toxic. They're toxic for your system. They raise nasty cholesterol. They cause heart attacks. They cause blockages of the arteries. And they are things that we should be avoiding. So read the label. And if they've got hydrogenated oil or trans fats, these are bad for you. Try and stick with the things that come naturally as oils. If you, if you squash an olive oil, if you squash an olive fruit, oil comes out naturally. Avocado, if you, if you, if you uh, blend the avocado, you'll get avocado oil. Same with peanut oil or macadamia oil or um, coconut oil or ghee. Ghee, all these things are available in the supermarket. They're not costly. The only one that is particularly costly is olive oil, which should not be used to cook with because its firing point is very low. And you don't want to overcook in oil that is being uh, excessively heated. So coconut oil or, or ghee, and these are very, these are readily available, they're not expensive and you can use them to cook, and these are natural fats. In terms of eating fats, butter, uh, double cream milk, full fat milk, you want the fat in the milk, not the sugar. The thing, when you have, when you have low fat milk, what you've done is you've, you've, you've removed the fat and what's left is the sugar in the milk. So what you're drinking is actually sugar, and that is what the public don't understand. For every motona at home, that means no motoho. If you're going to have motoho, it should be with full fat milk. This program was brought to you by First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?